What's going on YouTube, United Gamer here, and welcome to another guide here on Pokemon Sun and Moon on how to get every single evolution stone. If you are looking for a specific evolution stone, be sure to check the description below as I'll have a timeline of every stone that I have found in this video. If you find this guide helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, it really helps out the video, but if you just absolutely love Pokemon, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of other Pokemon Sun and Moon guides, like how to get all of Zygarde cells, all TM locations, all legendary locations, and videos like that. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. To start the video off, we're going to start here in Kone Kone City on Akala Island. Now the reason we are starting here, if you go in the building across from the Pokemon Center, you can actually purchase an unlimited amount of four of the Evolution Stones. The Fire Stone, Water Stone, Thunder Stone, and Leaf Stone. Although I am going to show you where you can find every Evolution Stone around the Alola region, I thought it would be best to start off with this, so you guys can know you can buy an unlimited amount of these four stones. Coming from the Pokemon Center here in Hia Hia City on Akala Island, we're going to go down into Diglett's Tunnel. This is to get the Fire Stone. Come down into the left of the cave, pass these stairs with your Tauros, and you will get your Fire Stone. Outside of Shady's house, here in Po Town on Ula Ula Island, we are going to collect the Ice Stone, which is very useful to get Ninetales of Alola form. Come through the house, over to the left, out by the pool, and you will get your Ice Stone. Coming from the Pokemon Center, here on Route 8 of Akala Island, we're going to surf here with Lapras, and under the water, we are going to find the Water Stone. Yet again, coming from the Pokemon Center here on Route 8 on Akala Island, we're going to go up to the right by this trailer, come behind it, and get our Thunderstone. Coming down from Ancient Pony Path here on Pony Island, we're going to detour over to the left to collect our Shiny Stone. Coming from the left of Route 13 here on Ula Ula Island, we're going to go by the water hole to get the Moonstone. Now for the Leaf Stone, as far as I know, you can only purchase it from the Kone Kone City Market. Like I said in the beginning, you come across from the Pokemon Center and you can buy as many as you would like of the Leaf Stones. As far as I know, that's the only way you can get a Leaf Stone in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Coming from the bottom of Blush Mountain here on Ula Ula Island, we're going to go up here to the top left, past the patch of grass, and get our Sunstone. Coming from the bottom of Pony Wilds, here on Pony Island, right above Seafolk Village, we're going to surf over here, and there's another one under the water, and this is the Dust Stone. Now for the very last Evolution Stone here on the list, the Dawn Stone. This has to be after the game, after you have defeated the Elite Four and become the Alola Region Champion. Coming from the bottom of Route 2, here on Meli Meli Island, you want to walk inside his house and talk to Guzma. He's going to ask you to relocate over to Hal Oli's beachfront. Do as he says and go over there, but make sure you heal up before that because you are going to have to battle him. Now head down and battle Guzma. After defeating him, the Kahuna's gonna show up, exhaust the dialogue, and you will get your Dawnstone. That is it everyone, I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Pokemon content on my channel. You guys can follow me on all sorts of social media, such as Twitter and Snapchat. You guys can actually snap me, and I'll snap you back. But as always guys, this is not just a channel, it is a family, and I hope to see you in another Pokemon video on my channel. I'm out.